Hey YouTube, Amanda here on behalf of Core TCG, and the first thing I'd like to talk to you guys about, of course, is my top 8 at the LA Regionals I was recently at. Um, if you guys want to see the decklist for the Disaster Dragon build that I ran at the time, you can check the description below. Of course, uh, this was current format, so I basically just got my uh, national invite. So, the first thing I want to bring up, of course, is my experience at the event. Of course, a lot of people, even in experience in playing events, often sometimes make these mistakes, you know. First thing, of course, is the most important thing, eat a good meal. Second thing, drink some water throughout the day. Don't drink too much, of course. You don't want to have to use the bathroom while you're dueling, but at the same time, water is extremely important in <laughs> hydrating and keeping your mind fresh. Another thing, um, if your opponent asks what your card does, don't explain it to them. Just hand them the card. This saves a lot of time and wasted energy and, of course, miscommunication. Because even if you clearly state what your card does, it can, in the end, still be a mis miscommunication to your opponent. Because your opponent might mishear you or just might think things in a completely different process as you word it. So, in the end, they'll be like, well, that's not what she said. Now, if you just simply hand the card to your opponent and they read it, there is going to be no discrepancies. It's going to be all entirely their fault if they do misread something. So just eliminate any sort of miscommunications there by just simply doing that. Playing conservatively is another really, really important thing that you need to do when you do this. I can't tell you how many times people just blind MST everything. I don't understand what's with people blind MSTing everything right now. Save your MSTs. Save your cards for significant plays. Save everything for things that are going to actually affect you. Don't waste your cards. So. Another thing is to double check your deck lists. I double check and triple check my deck lists all the time and somehow still managed to make mistakes. Um, round 7, I believe, when I was undefeated and I was going up against an agent matchup, I got my first deck check of the day, of course. Um, and instead of writing Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Bearer, I wrote Trident Dragon. Now, I memorize my deck lists and I write based off of memory, but I always double check with my cards and the fact that the letter started with T was the reason why I messed up and did not realize that. So that cost me, you know, a game one loss, but then I won game two and three because it was an agent matchup. Um, so it didn't affect me, but I mean, something as simple as that can end up making you lose an entire tournament, so it's really not worth it. Um, but aside from that, I had a really great time at the event, met a lot of cool people, so everyone that saw me there, thank you very much um, for, you know, introducing yourselves to me, and everyone was really nice. So. Let's move on. Ruling of the day today, uh, TGs versus card effects. This is going to be one ruling. I'm going to do another ruling. Um, if you have a TG and it gets destroyed during the main phase, and for so any reason that TG is removed before it triggers on the end phase, it does not get the surge. Just that's not how it works. So um, if you get, you know, a few TGs destroyed in your graveyard that turn, and you pod avarice them, or they get removed you're not going to get a search out of them. So that is rulings. I've seen this come up a few times when someone ready is their opponent's uh, Warwolf because they're aware of the ruling, but the person controlling the TGs don't. So that is something pretty interesting to know. Another ruling that I would actually like to bring up is Starlight Road. Um, Starlight Road, if it's, not if it's not both negating and destroying the card it's meant to destroy, it doesn't special summon the Stardust after it resolves. So if you activate Torrential Tribute, and your opponent chains Starlight Road, and you chain MST on your Torrential Tribute chain resolves backwards, the MST destroys the Torrential, then Starlight resolves, negating Torrential's effect, but Torrential's no longer on the field to be destroyed, and you do not get the Stardust Dragon out of it. So, another interesting ruling to know. One other thing, missing timing. Now, missing timing is a concept that a lot of people don't seem to understand even in playing this game for a very long time. If a card has an optional trigger effect, it cannot trigger in the middle of resolving chain. That is an absolute in this game. There's no such thing as interrupting a resolving chain. Now what this means is, let's say I activate Dark Hole. You have a formula synchron on the field and a level 5 monster teaching librarian. You go chain, so Dark Hole chain link 1. Formula, you're activating its effect, chain link 2. So chain resolves backwards, the formula synchron and the librarian go into Black Rose. Now, can you activate Black Rose's effect to nuke the field? No. Why? Because the Dark Hole has not resolved yet. The Black Rose is being Synchro Summoned in the middle of this resolving chain. So, the Dark Hole resolves, destroys everything on the field, and at this point in time, the Black Rose was already Synchro Summoned. Not only that, but it no longer exists on the field because the Dark Hole resolved. So, you cannot interrupt your resolving chain. That being said, you know, you can make optional effects mistiming. If you normal summon a dimension, Dimensional Alchemist, 
and activate its effect as chain link one with priority. You are activating it as chain link one to remove the top card of your deck and pump it, and your opponent chains torrential tribute. The torrential resolves first, destroying the dimensional alchemist. Now at this point, the dimensional alchemist is being destroyed. However, its effect has not resolved to try to boost it. That chain link needs to resolve first before it can activate any effect to retrieve something from the RFG. At this point, once it's destroyed, its effect activates a pump and that chain has already completely resolved and the Dimensional Alchemist has missed timing to retrieve a card. So that is something interesting to know if you guys ever want to learn about, you know, missing timing. There is plenty of uh, interesting forums about it if you guys want to read into it, but that's basically the gist of it. So anything with an optional effect that activates at a, has to activate at a certain point in time cannot activate before the chain resolves. Only mandatory effects work that way. So you still get your effect off of something like saying again or Dandelion, it would simply form a new chain. However, you can't form a new chain with a card that has to be manually activated by the player. So that's another ruling tidbit of the day. Core TCG has its buy list finally up, so if you are interested in selling your singles to the store, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to help you navigate through it right now, so let's begin. Alright, so the first thing you got to do is go on CoreTCG.com and you're going to click in Login Register. So if you don't have an account already, the first thing you have to do is register, so you just fill out your information, um, first name, last name, phone number, which is really important, important you have to have a contact information, and birth date, sex and sign up. Then you're going to immediately have an account, so the first thing you do is sign into the account you just created. And then you go to the buy list, and the most important thing to do is read the Core TCG buy list. Um, this is going to explain how everything works, of course, and the rules and regulations, and all the obligations, such as tracking and etc., and the responsibility for your own items until Core TCG receives. Um, then you can go and click on Yu-Gi-Oh! Buy List, and the buy list is going to come up, and it's going to have basically every set that Core TCG is buying. If you have any questions about what we may or may not be buying, then feel free to contact Core TCG. Of course, this is official Konami store, so we're not buying stuff like Dual Terminal or Turbo Packs. So once you find the card that you want to sell, you add it as a quantity, and it'll update your buy cart. Now, it doesn't matter what you navigate through, it, your buy cart is always going to be on the side of the screen, so you can navigate. If you forget to add something, you can always go back and add that. So I add a Steel Storm Roach, then another Steel Storm Roach, then Orient Dragon, then you can go back and add another steel storm merch. Once you're finished, you're going to check out with your buy cart. Make sure everything is updated. And um, here's a little coupon code offer that we have. Just type in buy list. If you're going to use store credit, not PayPal or check, but store credit, you get an additional 10% off um, in addition to what you um, are selling. So you get an extra 10% cash uh, onto store credit. So um, with the buy list code, you're going to get another 10%, so that'll be 20% total if you're selling cards to Core TCG. So that basically means you can turn your unwanted cards into basically pure profit and then get what you need from the Core TCG website. Once you do that, um, you're going to get receive a confirmation email. Now, when you check your email, the first thing you're going to see is, of course, the email that you've uh, signed up and then they're going to receive another email that's saying don't send your stuff yet because it has to be approved. Once it's approved and you receive approval email, that's when you pack and ship your stuff. Um, we suggest, highly suggest you send with tracking so that if anything happens, you have track of your items. And once you send out and Core TCG receives the package and everything is intact, you receive payment within 24 hours. And that's pretty much how you sell to Core TCG. Now that we've navigated how to go through the buy list on Core TCG, I have some special offers for you guys. Uh, first of all, our raffle winners from the last video, of course. Uh, George Machado won the tin set, Hugo DeLauro won the play mat, and Sammy Tan won the librarian set and Gen Force packs. And then we also have the 5% off of singles, so that code is going to be DDG Core. So go ahead and enter that in, and you get a 5% additionally off of singles. So you can use your 20% with store credit and then your 5% off of singles and potentially get a really good deal. So don't miss that offer. All right, it's been a pleasure. Amanda here, take care.